All right, welcome back to my thrift store finds. It's not Monday, it's Tuesday, and I uh, had a great Christmas. Have uh, quite a few records to show you. Uh, about 29, I'm going to get through it pretty quick. And this is a best of 2021, and I had a very big haul back in the spring uh, of this last year, all progressive rock. And over the period of two days, I went back to my favorite thrift store, and you guys are going to see it's all progressive rock. I, you know, I walked into the thrift store the first day, and uh, I have a friend uh, that works there, and she said, JT, you got to go in the back. There's a bunch of records. So I go back there. Sure enough, I mean, unreal. A lot of records. And usually I don't like to be greedy. I leave some records. And the store closed. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Went back the next day and picked up. They were all still there. I was the first one there at opening and I got the rest of the records. So let me go ahead and get started. And you know, one thing I wanna say is uh, thank you all uh, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I so appreciate it. I, I mean, it's been an incredible year. And all right, so here it goes, about 27, 28 records. All progressive rock, uh, Mike Oldfield, Omadon. And this one's from uh, about 1975. And this is on Virgin. Now, this is the one that got it started. This is Tubular Bells from 1973, the film The Exorcist. What a big song. Absolutely. And this is on Epic. And here's a nice one. Michael Field, Five Miles Out from 1982. On Epic and this is was released only in the United States this is from uh, this is airborne from 1980 and there's a live version of tubular bells part one on this wonderful record this is a double album and next uh, there was a lot of Rick Wakeman I'm gonna show just a few six wives of Henry the eighth Alan White performs on this. He has a lot of guest uh, musicians on this. Then there's the Maestro, and this is on A&M. And his uh, record, 1984, Chaka Khan sings on this one. Really stretches out her vocal talents on, on this particular record. And Rick Wakeman, a criminal record. go and also a nice one to have live at Hammersmith and these were all a dollar fifty same score over the a period of two different days and the next day when I went back at 10 in the morning there was John and Vangelis both of these were still there uh, this is private collection cool to have the songs And the Friends of Mr. Cairo. And the songs. I've only recently really uh, enjoyed John and Vangelis. I really like it. Yes, and I'll say it again. Yes, Relayer. Patrick Morass is on here. Uh, Rick Wakeman was out, uh, evidently, to start his solo career. Wonderful to have this copy of Relayer. Never had this on vinyl. And uh, let's show you this. All right. Very, very pleased to have Relayer. And yesterday's was there. And side one is the uh, earlier uh, tracks from uh, Yes. And side two are the later tracks right around the Yes album and such. The great artwork of Roger Dean. And next up, 
the Alan Parsons project, there were three records of his there. Mystery and Imagination, Tales of Edgar Allan Poe. Never, never, ever had this on vinyl. Bought it on CD just uh, three years ago. And there's a booklet in here. And this is on 20th Century Records. Never saw Alan Parsons live. Could have, didn't do it, regret it. Ammonia Avenue. Hadn't had this on vinyl either. This is a, a wonderful score for me to get. And a copy of iRobot was just sitting there. This is a better than near mint minus. And this beats out my OG copy of iRobot. That cover. And here's the vinyl on this heavy record, U.S. Press. The only ones that are not United States Press on this are, I have two Harvest pressings I'll show you in just a little bit. And this was all by its lonesome, this Nectar, Magic as a Child. This is from around 1977. I love this band. And this is what got me started with uh, buying Nectar on vinyl. I've always had uh, enjoyed them on CD. And now I have about five Nectar albums on vinyl. And the great Peter Gabriel, this is a 12 inch sledgehammer. And Chris from Record Talk, he just sent me a nice VCLT. I'm going to show this on uh, what he sent me, um, a seven inch single uh, on my next video. But he sent me a seven inch of sledgehammer as well. So I'm really happy to have this one. Very clean, near mint minus, perfect. And this was there too. This is the U.S. Press, Peter Gabriel. Here's the songs. On Mercury. And right next to it was the German recording, the German press of that same very album. Or the very same album? Right. <laughs> and this was cool. David Gilmore, solo, About Face. In the inner sleeve. There's David. And this is just on the Red Columbia. And Richard Wright's Wet Dream was there, guys. I've never ever seen this at a thrift store. This was a, a wonderful pick. Definitely. U.S. Press. And on the Red Columbia. And Roger Waters, The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. Squeaky clean. This is near mint. And this is a store that was a small store, boutique uh, record store here in Reno. It uh, was closed long ago, Mirabelli's. And there's the hype. And the songs. And really cool inner sleeve. This is, love having this record. You know, Roger Waters, his upcoming tour, uh, the Marmot Apple from Dublin, I Ireland, he's going to come all the way to Las Vegas to see him. He already scored a ticket. He's going to be coming from Ireland to Nevada to see Roger Waters on his upcoming tour next year. That's pretty cool. Now, this was right next to the pros and cons, the wall in perfect condition, and U.S. Press on this, I mean perfect. Stoked to have this. Look at this. Inner sleeves. But here is the record. Very, very nice. 
for the wall. And momentary lapse was there. What a haul, huh? Actually, there are about 33 records, all a dollar fifty each, uh, in May or April, actually. And gatefold. Here we go. Now, this is the only record that was not at that thrift store. It was at their other thrift store across town. And that was a Harvest UK press of Dark Side. The jacket, this is the only jacket that's a little rough. All these other jackets are perfect. Uh, but this vinyl, I'm telling you, I brought this home, I spun it. I was just, I couldn't believe, no wonder they say the UK press on records like these is just better. And definitely this sounds wonderful on this harvest. This is about a second press, I would imagine. I'd really have to do my homework on that to read into the dead wax. And guys, the final cut was there as well in a perfect jacket, perfect condition, US press. I'll treasure that forever. Hopefully Sean, when he gets older, he will enjoy these records as well. And last record, UK Press on Harvest, Adam Hart Mother. It was there. <sighs> Fantastic to have this. And here it is on the Harvest label. Well, thank you so much for watching. You know, and wherever you are in the world, you know, take care. And I hope to see you all again real soon. All right, cheers.